couple of months ago, I was playing my Korg O1W Pro X and the sustain pedal was not responding. Um, all of a sudden it just started. And so naturally the first thing I did was just uh, swapped out pedals and it seemed like, it's, I'm going back in my memory a little bit, but it seemed like that worked initially, at least for the next couple of days. But then not, not too long after I switched pedals, I went back to play again same problem uh, sustain pedal not working so at this point now i'm starting to suspect that the jack for the pedal in the back of the of the synth has gone bad which is something that we'll be able to repair fairly easily or at least replace again hoping that that fixes the problem however um, i try to be very cautious when when we work on keyboards that we're using um, static protection so that we don't mess up any of the circuitry inside. So I haven't had a chance to take this over to the shop yet and switch that jack out to see if it fixes my pedal problem. And I started thinking, well, is there, is there any other way that I can get sustain to work, when I'm, especially when I'm just using it as a controller for piano sounds uh, in, my, in my Mac? So what I ended up doing was step one, was I just took another MIDI keyboard, uh, I think my Arturia controller keyboard, and I plugged a sustain pedal into that keyboard, and it's connected via USB to my Mac. And then I just basically pulled the pedal over by the O1W, set it in the floor, and it worked. It sent the MIDI messages back and forth through the Arturia, so it was giving me the sustain signal that I needed while I played. So that was a good fix for using software sounds but as time went along, I found that there were still sounds in the O1W that I wanted to use as I was playing and I needed the sustain functionality to work for that. So started thinking through how can I make that work? So what I ended up doing was I ran, again, I ran, was running my sustain pedal through a different synth, but I thought if I run, um, if I take the MIDI output signal from my focus right USB audio interface, if I take the MIDI out and run it into the O1W to its MIDI port, I started thinking, well, maybe that'll work. And lo and behold, it did. Um, I mean, MIDI's a fantastic thing, and I don't always probably think of the best ways to use it, but this way worked out really well. So again, what I've done now is I've got a sustain pedal that runs into another, uh, to a MIDI controller keyboard. It's connected to my Mac via USB. And then I've taken the Arturia, I'm sorry, I've taken the, the Focusrite interface MIDI output, the five pin DIN output, and run it over to the O1W. So now when I'm playing the O1W, when I'm actually using the internal sounds, I can still use the sustain pedal that's hooked into the whole system to get that sustain functionality. So um, maybe this is a workaround for you if you've got the same problem with the sustain jack that has stopped working. Um, but I just wanted to share this tip. Um, it was it was kind of a, something I backed into, but it worked out really well, and I'll keep it in mind for the future. Hopefully this is not something that, that comes up often, but it's kind of a neat uh, starting point to think about MIDI more globally. You know, I've, I've always thought about MIDI just between this device and the computer, and that's, that's basically been it, or I've used this device to play notes through this device. And I guess I'm kind of doing that in a roundabout way, but there's more, there's more routing going on um, to accomplish this goal. So yeah, I mean, MIDI is amazing and um, this is the kind of extra functionality that I, I need to be thinking about for the studio set up here. So anyway, I hope somebody finds this tip helpful. If you lose a sustain jack, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, there are ways around it. So anyway, uh, let me know if you've encountered this problem or um, what kind of unique MIDI routings have you used in the past to, to work around something so that you could keep going. Let me know in the comments, and uh, I would appreciate it if you would um, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of really great people on here, and I hope to continue that. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.